hello students we continue with the next marketing functions in this lecture and it is related with the exchange point and the name of the function is buying and selling you all aware regarding the term what is buying and what is selling but in detail what is buying and selling so this particular point we see in this particular lecture what is the meaning in meaning buying and selling is the most important activity in the marketing process at every stage buyers and sellers come together goods are transferred from seller to buyer and the possession utility is added to the commodity so this is very very important point buying and selling this exchange function creates which type of utility possession utility so it is very important underline this point for your objective questions the number of times the selling and buying activities performed depends on the length of the marketing channel already i covered this particular practical what is marketing channels the route or path through which your produce move from producer to consumer so this buying and selling activity depends on this marketing channels in the shortest channel where no middleman is involved this activity takes place only once that is the producer or farmer sell the consumer purchase but usually in the case of farm commodities selling oblique buying activities are undertaken each time when the produce move from the farmer to the primary wholesaler from the wholesaler to the retailer and from the retailer to consumer the buying activity involves the purchase of right goods at the right time at the right place at the right time in the right quantities and at the right price so goods place time quantity and right price these are very important uh, words you have to write in case of this particular when you uh, in exam if the definition ask related with the buying then you write this definition the buying activity involves the purchase of right goods at right place at the right time in the right quantities and at the right price it involves the problem of what to buy when to buy from where to buy how to buy and how to settle the prices and the terms of purchase the selling activity involves personal or impersonal assistance to or persuasion of a prospective buyer to buy a commodity the objective of selling is to dispose of the goods at satisfactory price this, this is the main objective of selling the goods the price of products particularly of agricultural commodities varies from place to place from time to time and with the quantity to be sold selling therefore involves the problem of when to sell where to sell through whom to sell and whether to sell in a one lot or in parts so these are the very important points related with the buying and selling activity now we see in detail about the different methods of buying and selling of farm products and and these methods are generally prevalent in indian markets so uh, number 1 we see the first method under cover of a cloth or locally it is called as hatta system by this method the price of the produce are settled by the buyer and the commission agent of the seller by pressing or twisting the finger of each other under cover of a piece of cloth so that finger cover a piece of cloth and these prices are settled by buyers and commission agent this is very important sentence you have to understand now Code symbols are associated with the twisting of the fingers, and traders are familiar with this. Okay, all traders are traders means all middlemen or agents. These are familiar with this twisting and other code symbols. Then the negotiation in this manner continue till a final price is settled. Okay, and when all buyers have given their offers, offers means they uh, have offered that particular price. 
the name and the offer price of highest bidder who offer highest price is announced to the seller by commission agent so here commission agent is involved for fixing the price this system provides opportunity for cheating the seller because for the seller is not aware of price that has been offered by other buyers so this is very very important cheating takes place in this method the commission agent may not communicate the various prices to the seller and may strike a deal in favor of one who offers a somewhat lower price so this is the mal practices happen in this particular system so this system uh, or method has been banned by the government because of the possibility of cheating through uh, though it continues to be used in some markets so this is the under cover of a cloth system or hatta system generally this is followed in case of uh, in livestock markets okay uh, in case of selling livestock now second method is private negotiations by this method prices are fixed by mutual agreement this method is common in unregulated markets or village markets under this method the individual buyer come to the shop of commission agents at a time convenient to the latter and offer prices for the produce which they think are appropriate after the inspection of the sample if the price is accepted the commission agent conveys the decision to seller and the produce is given after it has been weighed to the buyer okay so in village to private negotiation takes place directly between buyers and sellers the seller take the sample to the buyer and ask him to quote the price if it is acceptable to the buyer a contract is executed means uh, that the uh, whole produce is uh, sold to that particular buyer this however is a slow and time consuming process and is not suitable when either large quantities have to be sold or large number of buyers exist in the market so this is the disadvantage of this method okay it is convenient method okay but generally followed in unregulated market or village market at small level okay the advantage of this method is that seller gets good price for buyers are not aware of the price offered by other buyers each buyer therefore tries to bid the highest to get the produce so this is the advantage in this method so uh, see here in different methods different types of Uh, steps uh, are undertaken okay so this is very important to know uh, for the students now third method quotations on sample taken by commission agent already you know about the quotations by this method the commission agent takes the sample of the produce to the shop of that buyer instead of buyer going to the shop of commission agent here commission agent in this uh, method commission agent uh, goes to the buyer shop the price is offered based on sample by the prospective buyers the commission agent makes a number of rounds of prospective buyers until none is ready to bid a higher price higher than one offered by a particular buyer the produce is given to one whose bid has been the highest so this procedure takes place in case of this third method now what is dara sale method fourth method dara sale method by this method the produce in different lot is mixed and then sold as one lot now here the advantage of this method is that within a short time large number of lots are sold off but the disadvantage of this method is the produce of good quality and one of poor quality fetch the same price due to mixing there is therefore a loss of incentive to the farmer means incentive means profit to cultivate good quality products this method is common for such crops as zira in many markets of the country or spices okay so this is the point related with the dara sale method now mogham sale method okay 
by this method the sale of produce is effected on the basis of verbal understanding between buyers and sellers without any pre settlement of price but on the distinct understanding that the price of the produce to be paid by buyer to the seller will be the one as prevailing in the market on that day prevailing means current price market price okay or at the rate at which other sellers of the village sold the produce so according to that judgment they settled the price by by verbal understanding between buyers and sellers this method is common in villages for farmers are indebted to the local money lenders indebted means uh, some farmers take the loan from money lenders so they generally sell their produce with the help of this such type of communication or verbal understanding often the buyer pay less than the prevailing market rate on the plea of the poor quality of the produce means if the produce is of poor quality then the rate will be less or, or price of that produce will be less okay so such type of situation happen in which particular method mogham sale method now very very important method which is generally followed in all regulated market that method is called as open auction method by this method the prospective buyers gather at the shop of commission agent around the heap of the produce examine it and offer bids loudly means seller uh, all sellers they uh, collect their produce to the commission agent and here in this method commission agent perform the auction okay the produce is given to the highest bidder after taking the consent of the seller farmer this method is preferred to any other method because it ensures fair dealing to all parties and because the farmers with a superior quality of produce receive a high price so in this way this method is very very important and uh, more suitable by uh, other methods in most regulated markets the sale of produce is permissible only by the open auction method so this is also very very important objective you have, you have to underline in all regulated markets which method of sale is generally followed open auction method now we see some merits of the open auction method a sale by this method inspires confidence among the buyers and sellers the seller is able to follow the bidding easily bidding means to uh, speak loudly the prices offered price offering so we can call it as a bidding the auction serves as a meeting place for the supply of and demand for goods so this is very important point it disposes of the market supply promptly a wide variety of goods are available to buyers for selection the auction method reduces the number of salesmen needed in the process the buyer of small lots are not put to a disadvantage against the buyer of large lots all the sections interested in the sale and purchase are well informed about the prevailing prices and can take judicious decisions or um we can called right decisions about the sale and purchase of agricultural commodities now these are all about open auction method and last method sixth method we see closed tender system okay what is closed tender system this method is similar to the open auction method except that bids are invited in the form of closed tender rather than by open announcement in open auction method there will be open announcement all buyers are know about the, the which type of prices offered by other buyers but here close tender system is there tender is totally close the produce display at the shop of commission agent is allotted lot numbers now see that produce is allotted with lot numbers the prospective buyers visit the shop inspect the lot offer a price for the lot which they want to purchase on slip of paper okay 
that buyer write the price on slip of a paper and deposits the slip in a sealed box laying at the commission agent's shop means you observe that uh, produce and write your price by checking the quality of that produce and uh, that slip you have to put into that particular box when the auction time is over the slip are arranged according to the lot numbers and highest bidder is informed by that commission agent that his bid has been accepted and that he should take delivery of the produce so such type of uh, thing happen in case of closed tender or everything will be closed in that particular box and after uh, the auction time is over that uh, lot numbers they uh, arranged according to the highest price and produce is sold to the that particular highest uh, price bidder okay so this is all about the closed tender system now you again carefully read all these methods and try to understand uh, different procedures of buying and selling involved in such type of methods thank you very much